hello and welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, last class we have discussed about operators and uh, this video uh, we're gonna discuss about uh, the conditional and looping statements of uh, type state because uh, conditionals and loopings are very very important when you're writing an actually program. Okay, so in the, in the, in the writing of programming, uh, so conditional statements because you have to check a lot of conditions and you're gonna iterate through uh, an array and you do uh, some sort of uh, uh, logics you're gonna write with these operators, right? So first you have to know how to write the basic uh, conditional statements and loopings with uh, type step. Okay, and we also perform a few examples on uh, programmatic uh, uh, examples on type set as well. Okay, so let's start with uh, uh, condition statements okay so i create a fresh directory so 0 5 hyphen ts hyphen conditional operators not operators dude sorry 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 conditional statements so conditional statements uh, let me create one uh, Type script to say app dot ts conditional statements app dot ts fine. So what are the conditional statements we have? We have actually uh, if else condition and uh, we also have a switch. So these two are conditional statements and for looping we have a for loop while loop and do while. Okay. So first let's start with if else. So if else. Uh, mostly you might know because every programming language we have this if else statement so you're going to check the condition with if and uh, if condition fails and else statement gets executed okay and switch case is uh, far better than a if else ladder okay if you are if you have uh, if you're going to check multiple conditions like if else if else if else instead we're going to use the switch statement where you write all the cases uh, with the conditions okay so the switch statement is far better when compared to the if else uh, if you have one or two conditions you can go with if else but if you have more number of conditions then you can go with the switch okay so let's take a few examples uh, so you get a better, a better idea what is if else and switch so let's start with the if else now um, so let's take let's um, current time okay current time of type number is equal to some 10 o'clock okay i have taken a variable current time of type number 10 o'clock so i have to check let's the result mm, or i'll just say like this wish wish message of type string is equal to just empty so depend on the time you need to specify the wish message okay uh, so what I do is I'll check the condition. So if current time is greater than or equal to zero, it should be it should not be not negative values. Okay, so zero and I use the uh, and operator logical operator and I also use the condition conditional operator. Uh, so current time is less than or equal to 12 o'clock. So up to 12 o'clock, zero to 12 o'clock, wish message goes to be good morning okay next else if another statement current time is greater than 12 or greater than or equal to you can write like this 13 and so from 13 to i'm using i'm writing a 24 hours format so uh, less than or equal to uh, i guess it is 17 for five o'clock okay evening so wish message goes to be a uh, good afternoon okay so else if uh, current time is greater than or equal to 18 from evening six o'clock to night uh, uh, 23 hours so 0 to 23 hours okay uh, so wish message is, is equal to so good evening okay so lastly the else case if none of these conditions match i make the else case so wish message is equal to uh, invalid invalid time okay fine okay or let's say invalid hours okay fine now check the console.log simply console.log of wish message 
So let me run the program. So right click, open terminal. So I say uh, ts hyphen node space app dot ts. See, you get the answer good morning because it is uh, 10 o'clock. If I make something called a 16, so 16 goes to be what? I think 16 means 4 o'clock. So that will be a good afternoon. Yes, uh, like the same way. Uh, if I give something called 160, what happened? You get the invalid hours because which is beyond the 23 number. Invalid hours. Yeah, that's what. If I make something called uh, anything, you can check. 722, night 10 o'clock will be the good evening. Okay, that's fine. This is uh, a demonstration on a if else condition. So let's take the switch statement as well. So if you have more number of conditions like this, all these conditions you can write in a case uh, uh, as a reserved key for a switch statement. Okay, we use that. So switch. So let's start with a switch. So switch statement, what we do is uh, I'll take let day of type I guess number is equal to new date uh, built in JavaScript object dot get day actually in JavaScript we have a function called get day so this is gonna give you uh, numbers okay for example Sunday will give zero number okay it starts from Sunday zero Sunday Monday Tuesday like zero one two three four numbers is gonna given up to Saturday so six is the number for Saturday so uh, uh, when you are trying to execute a program and that uh, as per the day uh, you get the number but I don't need the number for example if I say console.log of day so what is the number you get what is today today is Tuesday so if today is Tuesday so I get the number uh, Sunday 0 1 2 yeah 2 you get so let me run the program you get the number 2 I don't want to I want I don't want to I want to get the proper uh, name so what I do is uh, let me let a switch for the day and let's take another variable let's um, today of type string is equal to empty string okay so I write case for the condition if the day is equal to uh, zero if the day it matches with the value called zero then uh, I say I can write here only today is equal to Sunday and moreover don't forget the break statement okay so like this you have multiple so this for one this for two this for three this for four this for five this for six this for seven I think six is last lastly default case you write so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and Saturday okay and uh, lastly we have a default case what is default case is for example else uh, if none of the condition match you get the else statement right this is like a worst case that is default and today will be invalid day okay fine now check console dot log of today okay so check it out you should get the answer as Tuesday okay that's fine so that's all about uh, if else statements in uh, TypeScript and also the switch statement a simple example you can try with the month also okay fine uh, so that's it for this video and next video we'll see about loopings and uh, I mean the all looping statements like for loop while loop and all thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.